Hi, you're watching The Film Fix. I'm Jeff Marker. I'm here with Kathleen Hogan, who uh, had a role in The Conspirator, which is going to come out this week. And so we're going to talk about Kathleen, about who exactly she played and what it was like to work on the film. So let's start there. Who, who did you play in The Conspirator? I play a character named Mrs. Mount Chessington, who's actually, that's the name of the character in the play, An American Cousin, which was the play that Lincoln was watching when he was shot. Um, but the thing about that is, John Wilkes Booth, as most people know, was an actor, and they were in the same company. And so the actors and actresses were also um, under suspicion of being part of the plot. All of his associates, probably. That's right. Okay. That's right, because he worked with them on stage all the time. So the character I play is one of those actors, but I actually am in the scenes, and then I get questioned. And okay. All right, so you had to put on uh, a, at least part of, uh, uh, is it My American Cousin or just American Cousin? Um, it's my ignorance I think it's, coming oh out. my gosh, Our American Cousin. Our American Cousin. Cousin, you're right. So you had to put on at least part of Our American Cousin, so you sort of did a play within the film. That's right. How does one go about doing that? Did you sort of have a director just for the play or? No, it was Robert Redford. Oh. It was amazing. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so what they did was they recreated the Ford's Theater in a warehouse in Savannah. And I had no idea what to expect, and myself and Jason Hatfield, the other actor in Our American Cousin, I hope I'm doing that right. <laughs> um, <laughs> we were, were both stage actors primarily, so we were kind of holding each other's hands through the whole thing because, you know, we were in hair and makeup for hours, and then we walk into this warehouse, and there's the Ford's Theater. It was amazing. Yeah, and I should mention that actually, um, you you have a long list of credits um, on the stage, and so it just really sort of made sense that that was the role you played. Well, I think it was a happy accident, but it was happy because <laughs> I felt more comfortable playing an actress on the stage. Okay. You know, of course. Um, and it was interesting because the character of Mrs. Mount Chessington is about seventy years old, <laughs> or you know, yeah, and um, and a terrible terrible person you know oh yeah so, okay and so I was in the makeup chair for just makeup at an hour and a half and then the first time the second time it was about an hour because they knew you know what they like my face better and and um second and third time but then hair and you know so it was hours in makeup and hair which was fun it was really fun but I look um I look like I will look when I'm 70 they were amazing I, I have to say, I saw the pictures of that, and I would have known it was you. You wouldn't have? No, no. <laughs> I would have known. It was you. Yeah, they aged you so perfectly. They, it, they were amazing. Amazing. Yeah, it was an incredible experience. So we walk in. You know, we filmed 16 hours overnight, um, and Robert Redford just came up to Jason and I and introduced himself. <laughs> you know? <laughs> he was so, so nice, and... Um, so we worked with him all night, and um, it was amazing because we got our lines for three long scenes from our American cousin. We got them at 9 a.m., and we were <laughs> in makeup and hair at noon. So we just met back at you know the hotel lobby and ran lines and ran lines, and we're in the makeup chair running lines, and you know it it was sink or swim and hopefully we swam <laughs> I wow. think so. so this is sort of a rare occasion to put on that particular play anyway yes in I don't any think form. it's produced very much um, I wouldn't imagine so I looked on the internet and I think some historical society has done it you know consecutively for years I don't think I'm not sure if it's going on anymore but no it's not produced very often so it was amazing and yeah. it was um, it really felt like when we were shooting it felt like we were back there. I mean, because we looked out and they had a lot of, of the um, actors who were extras, you know, all period costume, very authentic, and they were audience members. And then you, we looked up in the box and there's Lincoln and his wife, and all of a sudden there's John Wilkes Booth. Yeah. And you know, you've got real gas footlights, gas chandeliers, and it, it, was, it was amazing. So they really built this set that completely, that you had the audience, audience in front of you the whole time and then in the gallery and, and whatnot? Yes. Wow. It was, is it amazing. is incredible what, what they did. Now, do you know, did they film the entire movie in Savannah? 
as far I'm 99.5 percent sure that it, everything was filmed in Savannah. Uh, they used a lot of the historical homes. In fact, the house across the street from the Ford's Theater, where Lincoln actually died, they took him right after he was shot. Um, myself and Jason and a couple of the other actors were being questioned by Edwin Stanton, who's played by um, Kevin Klein. Okay. Um, and his and Stanton's assistant was questioning us. And that scene was filmed in an, an historic home in Savannah, but that, that they made a um, completely authentic replica of the home that he died in. Wow. Yeah. So, yay, Georgia. Yay, Kathleen. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, yeah. and yay for the conspirator. <laughs> so, uh, check it out. It comes out on. April 15th. Yes. And, and it is. that is the anniversary of when Lincoln was shot. Well, how appropriate. It is. All right. Well, thanks for talking to us. Thanks for talking to me. All right. And best of luck. Thank you. See the conspirator. <laughs>